Sounds of Decay One is Ethereal Tomb, and the album is called When the Rivers Run Dry. The doom and sludge genre was always like a super rich chocolate cake to me. I enjoyed the gooey darkness, but after a few bites, I needed to break it up with a cold milk chaser of thrash. Upon listening to When the Rivers Run Dry from Ethereal Tomb, I never once had the need for a palate cleanse. This is the second full length since 2022 from these prolific kids out of Toronto. From the opening track, Face the Facts, which is a just over a minute monologue spoken over mournful guitar and jazz-like staccato drums, you just know that this is going to be a departure from typical doom. Their lyrics are full of anger and social injustice, or anger at social injustice, which rivals the rage of the most hardcore punk, which is not typical in this genre. And the title track, When the Rivers Run Dry, call to battle-style drums drag the listener in. The vocals of Alexander Senum come out in a baritone level growl, snapping like a junkyard dog. The guitar is distorted and melodic, filled with an eerie, almost Doppler-like effect of an ice cream truck music warping as it drives away from you. The drums dance with the bass work of Adian Weatherall, whose while stifled cymbals add to the unnerving atmosphere. Victim Mentality is another favorite track with even slower fuzzy guitar, vocals choked with disapproval, fuck your reality and your victim mentality. The drums provide the feel of a steady heartbeat of doom. It looks like the recording of the album, the drums were manned by Adrian Harper, Adrian Harper, who has since been succeeded by Simon Oliver. That's a very drummer name, Simon. Yeah. <laughs> The wildest track is The Sufferance of Mourning that starts with a crunchy guitar that dissolves into a clean melody that seems almost orchestral in its arrangement. After two minutes, the vocals bark in. Suddenly near the song's end, the babble of a running stream takes over, later laced with some kind of ambient mechanical tone reminiscent of something from a Kong album. With all the surprise Easter eggs they hide in this basket, I think we may have to create a new category for this groundbreaking trio. It is really, it's a step beyond it. I mean, if you can't get enough I Hit God and Dystopia, this is really something you need to check out. So check out this song. This song is Victim Men Hell. And another tie-in. <laughs> Gorad's song also features victim mentality. There you go. Yeah. This is the Snaggletooth Extreme Metal Podcast. <laughs> 